The Beautiful Lie, Secret River, Dressmaker. Is, is there any Australian film or TV series you're not in this year? <laughs> Heaps. <Are there? laughs> it's a film coming out next week called Alex and Eve. I'm not in. <laughs> is there really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, has there been some legislation passed that's uh, insisting that... Yeah, I've been talking to policymakers for years trying to get this passed and it's finally coming to fruition. Quite right. <laughs> uh, does this feel like your moment? Does this feel like the big one? Uh, a little bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. not, um, not necessarily realistically. I don't know. It's just it's surreal. It's just, you know, you put your head down and do what you do and then suddenly they all come out at once. You know, it's 18 months' work coming out at the same time. So. Of course, yeah. Are you finding, though, that you're having to sort of face up to the, the reality of celebrity as your, your face appears on all these different shows um, and films? Maybe. A little maybe. bit, but not, not a huge amount. It's certainly not um, not being hassled or hustled or anything like that. I'm, you no, know, just you haven't had people come up and take a selfie with you randomly? Certainly when there's other people around and, you know, right. on the red carpet last night, but not randomly in the middle of the street. No. Okay. I imagine that's a rite of passage now, isn't it? Someone it's probably, coming up to... I don't know. It's still ahead of you. In the last uh, couple of years, you've worked with Ethan Hawke, Kate Winslet. You're about to work with Ray Fiennes. Yeah. Are you ticking off the '90s icons? I know. You, that's go? totally what it is. Yeah. I am. Okay. <laughs> Unexpectedly. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hit Winona Ryder soon, and you know, right. real '90s icons like yeah. Days of Confused Times or Reality <laughs> Bites. Go back right back there. Really? Who do you think is next on your list? Is it Winona Ryder? <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I, do you know? I actually would really love to work with um, you know some contemporary aged actors like Andrew Garfield or Kerry Mulligan, people that I have a huge amount of respect for who have been doing this job for the last couple of years and successfully so. I thought yeah. you said contemporary aged, I thought you meant elderly, but you <laughs> mean people the same age. For people age. the same age as me. Right, excellent. Um, could you tell us a bit about your, your working with Ray Fiennes? You're off to London to, yeah. to work on stage. How did that come about? Uh, that came through my uh, shooting Steve Jobs earlier this year. Uh, Scott Rudin is the producer of that, and mm -hmm. he's um, a producer on, on the play, mm -hmm. The Master Builder, and um, he knew that I was over in London for my sister's wedding, mm -hmm. and so asked if Matthew Warchus, the director, would meet with me, and, and we chatted and got along, and I then put a self-tape down for, for a theatre show, which is the strangest thing. self-tape? Yeah, like filmed myself in Melbourne and then sent it to London. Right. But, you know, that's camera work. That's not stage work, so it was a bit of a strange situation. Is but it important to you to keep doing the, the stage work while you're... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Filming? Absolutely. I haven't done stage for a little bit uh, lately because... Um, I just haven't had time to, and well, you're in everything. Well, there's, but also with stage, there's such a long lead. Like you have sure. to book in a year in advance, and um, that's not something that I've been able to do or wanted to do at the time. But uh, I'm so looking forward to getting back to it. Okay. What yeah. is it about stage work that you find particularly rewarding? Well, there's there's that immediacy, and there's the um, the fear of it as well. You're on stage, and if you mess up, then then you've certainly messed up. But you've right. got other people around you to try and help you and you're there for them, and it's a real kind of teamwork atmosphere. I like that. I've noticed that you've been really quite happy to play the sort of s smaller roles in some films this year as well, so Holding the Man, for example, yeah. and Dressmakers is a supporting yeah. role. I mean, is there a sort of freedom in, in not being centre stage that you enjoy? Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. And part of that is, is being able to be a part of um, films that are telling great stories and have, you know, wonderful actors, actresses in the hel at the helm. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to sit on set and watch Kate Winslet and Judy Davis go for it and learn from them, is that's a, that's a master class in itself. So if I can play a small role in that, then great. Did I hear that that was your first scene that you shot, the yeah. scene that you have with yeah. Kate Winslet and Judy Davis? A yeah. bit of a baptism yeah. fire? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, luckily, though, my character was meant to be awkward and, and strange, so you were able I just, to bring that uh, just felt like myself. Did you, did you really feel that you were learning a lot working with Judy and Yeah, Kate? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they've had a wealth of experience and, and you know, years of, of successful careers and, um, and, you know, already have that talent and that technique and those life skills to, to learn from. Your yeah. character's quite an interesting one. Um, she starts off quite... Um, she starts off quite sympathetic, but <laughs> yeah. then seems to love her transformation a little bit too much. Yeah. I mean, do you enjoy playing with the, the audience sympathies like that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, to have a character that goes from a journey that is uh, f so different from the beginning to the end, and to have them um, change unexpectedly as well, where you expect a little more mm. grace, humility, <laughs> niceness, and then to be so ruthless. I like that.
it's the classic kind of ugly duckling transformation, exactly, isn't it? Yeah. You know, she takes off her glasses, you go, oh my God, she's beautiful. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, she's all that. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. But it does play with that. I mean, the film plays with expectations quite a bit. Was that part of the appeal? Yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely. Because it, and it's also the expectations with the, the, the plot and how it evolves. You expect it to go one way and then it suddenly swings round about the other mm. and, um, and doesn't disappoint in any of that kind of change. It, uh, just keeps the audience on their toes. You're a very uh, chameleonic uh, actress. I mean, I, um, it sounds odd to say to, to an actor <laughs> that you're, you're very different in each role. I know that's kind of the job description. Sure. But do you think that in some ways that, that makes your job harder um, to, because people don't recognize you from role to role because you're so uh, different? Well, maybe. I, don't, I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why everything's kind of like coming out at once and building now because I don't know. No, I, you know, I, that's, I don't care if it does make my job harder. It's the part of it that I love. So I'm going to hopefully keep doing jobs and roles that are interesting and strange and, and where I get to transform or be different. Yeah. <laughs>